So the first uh, exercise for today's session is um, a cone 40 millimeter diameter and 50 millimeter axis is resting on one generator on HP, which makes 30 degree inclination with the VP. Draw its projections. So this is uh, the case of a cone and the dimensions of the cone is given 40 millimeter diameter and 50 millimeter axis. So by the way, when a uh, dimension is given and uh, if you feel that it will not fit into your drawing paper, you can have the dimensions uh, saying that the uh, scale is 1 is to 2. So only the dimensions, only the length you have to have, not the uh, angles. The angles uh, will not be halved. If it is given as 30 degree, it is 30 degree itself. Uh, it won't be halved. Only the length will be halved. So that is, uh, if uh, this case, if this particular case, if you want to draw it in half scale, that is 1 is to 2 scale, uh, then the cone diameter can be 40, instead of 40 millimeter, 20 millimeter. Then the axis length, of, instead of 50 millimeter, it can be 2.5 centimeter, that is 25 millimeter. But the difficulty is that uh, when you write the dimensions in your drawing, the actual dim dimension has to be written, that is, 40 millimeter itself has to be written because uh, on the side of, uh, of the, our drawing you have to give you or you have to mention that this is the scale 1 is to 2. So when you are giving a scale 1 is to 2 the actual dimension you have to give otherwise uh, it will uh, the uh, answer will be misinterpreted that is if you represent it at 20 millimeter the diameter is 20 millimeter itself then it can, it will be taken as uh, a 10 millimeter actual actual diameter as 10 millimeter so that you should not do it, it should be 40 millimeter that you have to mention so 40 millimeter diameter and 50 millimeter axis is resting on one generator on hp we have discussed what is a generator any imaginary line that is joining the apex with the, any of the point on the base circuit is an image as uh, is a generator so there are infinite number of generators in the case of a cylinder as well as a cone so it is resting on one of the generators on hp and the resting generator is making an angle of 30 degree with the vp generator on which it is make uh, resting is making an angle of 30 degree with the vp now we have to draw its projections this is the question and uh, how to draw it that uh, we will dis uh, explain so first we draw the xy line and since it is resting on hp the top view should contain the base the shape of the base so in this case the shape of the base is a circle so it is a cone so it is uh, the shape of the base is a cone i mean circle and now divide the circle into 12 uh, sorry eight equal parts so in this case, uh, four diagonals, four diameters, so you know, diagonals, four diameters will give you eight equal parts. Each uh, diameter is inclined at an angle 45 degree to the others. So that sort of uh, diagonals, I mean diameters will give you eight equal parts. That angle between these two diameters, that is uh, 45 degree between these two, it is 45 degree, this between these two, it is 45 degree. So, that the angle between two consecutive diameters is 45 degrees so that's it then name the uh, diameters or the points on the uh, base circle as a b c d e f g and h so since there are eight uh, points that we are considering in uh, the base circle so it is uh, eight points will be there Now, the front view, you have to draw the front view. Uh, by drawing all the, fr from all the base points, the points on the base circle, from all the points on the base circle, you draw a uh, projector. And uh, when uh, the projector through H and B is drawn, it will coincide. That is why only one projector is there. That is uh, when, if you are drawn it correctly, the projectors from B and H 
will be in the same line, in the same projector. So only one projector is required. Here also C and G, it will be in the same projector. And a D and F, it again will be in the same projector. So only actually five projectors will be there, uh, which constitutes all the eight different points. Then, then the axis, the axis is uh, drawn with a, a length of 50 millimeter. Now what we have to do is we have to join the apex, the top point, the 50 millimeter point with the base end points of the base. And the uh, generators also you have to draw. And give the names on the base as well as the top, the apex. So this is the top view as well as front view in the initial position. So the height of this uh, triangle will be 50, sorry, uh, 50 millimeter and uh, the base will be 40 millimeter diameter. So A dash, H dash and B dash will coincide, C dash and G dash will coincide, F dash and D dash will coincide, E dash is separate. So this is the naming uh, when we consider the front view. Now what we have to, to do is, since it is resting on one of its generators, we consider that it is resting on the end generator. Uh, it is resting on its end generator, that is uh, say either O A dash, O dash A dash or O dash E dash. In this case it is convenient that we consider it to be O dash E dash. So what we have to do is, uh, keeping o, a o dash E dash in line with the X Y line we have to reproduce this particular front view, that is this triangle that you have to draw. That is, first you have to draw O dash or mark a distance which is equal to O dash E dash on the XY line. And then from there you have to find out the point A dash. Once this point is found out, you can complete this triangle. And then from each point, uh, from the distance to each of these points can be again marked using your uh, uh, your divider or compass. So that way you can complete the next uh, front view. So it will be like this. So this is like uh, rotating this front view, rotating this front view in such a way that O dash E dash is lying along the X Y line. By using the property of the triangle, you can find out the point A dash. Then from A dash, the distances to H dash and B dash, C dash and G dash, F dash and D dash, that you can measure using your compass or divider. And then that can be marked here. So then those points can be joined with the O dash. So likewise, this front view can be completed. Now, from all the eight points, we drop uh, uh, projectors, we drop projectors from all the eight points and uh, actually in the in this case also only five projectors are required since uh, three of them are coinciding with the other three. So only five projectors will be there. And then the low C of the points from the first top view is also drawn. So from G, so which will be the point G? This will be the point G. So since the, from G dash, the projector is this one. Uh, from G, the locus is this one. So the intersecting point will be this one. So that you should not confuse. You have to take, be careful, very careful about uh, finding out the points in the second top view. Otherwise, uh, the shape will be something different, something different that uh, uh, that is unexpected shapes will be come up. And from F, F and H, in this case, when you are drawing the locus, F and H, from low C from F and H will coincide. So only one locus is required. So that is from F we are drawing. It is, it constitutes from F and H. Uh, for F, it is this point F dash, so this point. And for H, it is this point H dash, from H dash. So these two points, this point as well as this point. These two points can be considered as F dash as well as H dash, for F dash and H dash, that is F and H, then E and A will coincide, the low C through E and A will coincide, and that we will extend to this one, because the point O, the point O is here, 
so this apex apex will be here so the apex will be in this line so to the o dash point we have to find out the o dash also so we have to extend this a o actually it constitutes a o and e all these three points together so o dash up to the point o dash we have to extend it and uh, this point will be e and this point will be a so those two points you can you have obtained then for b and d it's the same locus for c second lo another locus so now from o dash we draw the protector to get point o dash o1 so point o1 now all these points are marked here now through these all the eight points through all these eight points you have to draw an ellipse using your free hand don't use your scale or any other instruments use your free hand to draw an ellipse using all these eight points so that is why i said uh, um, in the previous class i said uh, eight points is required at least eight points is required if there are only four points drawing this ellipse will be difficult if you have at least eight points the shape of the ellipse can be obtained easily so now what you have to do is you have to join o with the, the farthest point of in the ellipse so it may not be g1 always it may not be g1 it should be such that it should be touching this o1 from o1 it should be touching the outermost point in uh, in the ellipse so it may not be always g1 because when if you join g1 with the o1 then it will cut through the ellipse it will cut through the ellipse so don't make it cut through the ellipse but instead it should be uh, something like a tangent it should be like a tangent to the ellipse so from the o1 when you are drawing it should be a tangent to the ellipse not uh, it should cut through it should pass through the ellipse so that's the condition so likewise from O1 to C1 also. This is also. That's it. That is the second top view. The generators are not required here. If even if you are drawing all these generators, uh, it is not required. If you want to draw, you can draw it very lightly. And uh, with the, the generators from H1, A1, and B1 visible, and the generators from F1, E1, and D1 invisible the generators from f1 e1 and d1 they will be invisible the generators from h1 a1 and b1 will be visible because uh, in the top view h1 b g1 and f1 will be lying be behind our point sorry f1 e1 and d1 will be lying behind the points behind the points h1 a1 and b1 so what you have to do is if you are drawing the generators it is actually not required if you are drawing the generators through h1 a1 and b1 should be visible and the generators through f1 e1 and d1 will be invisible now you have to redraw reconstruct this particular picture this second top view in such a way that the generator on which the, uh, it is resting, the cone is resting, makes an angle of 30 degree. The generator on which it is making, it is resting is uh, E1O1. This is the generator on which it is resting. So this generator should be making an angle of 30 degree inclination with the VP. So it is like this. This generator E1O1 is making an angle of 30 degree inclination with the VP. Now, when we are drawing this one, so again, you have to inscribe this rectangle and this uh, ellipse in a rectangle, and then uh, you can draw the ellipse completely. Otherwise, it will be very difficult. Uh, first, you draw this line, this 30 degree line, mark the point O1, mark the point E1, and mark the point A1 also. A1 also you can mark, then construct the rectangle here construct the rectangle and from the rectangle you can mark all these other points g1 f1 h1 etc that all those points you can mark then through all these points you draw 
or the ellipse don't need to draw this uh, smaller circles that is for the representation purpose i made it uh, for your drawing in the drawing that uh, small circles are not required now from all these points you can draw upward the uh, all the eight points from all the eight points you have to draw upward uh, here there will be eight different uh, projectors will be there and from this uh, second front view also you have to draw if, uh, eight uh, here there will be beyond be eight there will be only five uh, low c will be there and uh, the corresponding points you have to mark this is the point o also so this is again here also when you are drawing not from a1 or not from b1 that this line is drawn this line is drawn from the point o1 o1 dash actually from the point o1 dash through as a uh, what you say as a tangent to this particular ellipse this ellipse it's a tangent to this ellipse you can draw on this line okay this is it and uh, uh, by the way uh, when we you are drawing this one this can be drawn in two different positions in one position the apex is nearer to the vp that is the apex is nearer to the xy line in another case the apex can be away from the vp that is apex is uh, away from the xy line so in two different ways you can draw it what in whichever way you draw you have to draw it carefully if you are drawing it uh, in such a way that the apex is away from the xy line then this part this part of this curve this ellipse will be invisible this part within this two straight lines the part that is within this two straight lines will be invisible that you have to be taken care of so if you are drawing it in such a way that uh, this apex is away from the xy line then this part will be invisible okay uh, that's the condition when the apex is away from the xy line the part that is the part of this ellipse that is within this straight lines these two straight lines will be invisible that is the condition otherwise it is uh, visible if you are uh, drawing in such a way that the uh, ellipse the apex is nearer to the xy line then the, this part is visible so that's it okay you just to note down the things and uh, I, any anything that uh, that you require to complete the drawing in the uh, in the home otherwise uh, we are going to the next uh, topic uh, by the way you uh, please note down this this particular question this note down the question in such a way that uh, just understand this question in this question the axis is resting uh, the axis is uh, inclined to the xy line as well as the second uh, inclination is given as one generator on hp may is making an angle of 30 degree inclination with the vp that you must be careful in the second question is a variant of this question and in this in that case the drawing is uh, entirely different and not entirely different there is uh, a good variation in the drawing so uh, the inclination is 30 degree in that case also so why that is different that uh, uh, will be visible or will be understood by you if only that if only you understood that in this case the generator is making the generator on which the cone is resting is making an angle of 30 degree with the peak 